What's up guys, it is day five and today we are going to be go-karting. I have not done this in a very long time. I am very excited to do it. I'm gonna bring my phone on the track and film it as I go along and I can't wait for it. All right, let's go in. Let's go! After go-kart, you're at something called bumper boats. I don't think I've ever bumper boated before, but it seems really fun. If I do this, unlike the other activities though, I don't think I could bring my phone in because as you can see, there is a lot of water and water could probably uh, destroy my phone. They also have a place to zip line, which I don't zip line either because I'm, uh, I don't zip line because I'm so good at zip lining, it just, it just wouldn't be fair to the other zip liners. But I totally could do it. Totally. Everyone believes me, because it's definitely the truth. Why would anybody make something up like that? Just, just leave me alone, guys. It's a pirate. All right, we're about to go in. That was a horrible experience. Inside, they have an arcade. I've also never been good at any form of video game or arcade game. Surprise, surprise. So this is a really cool place. There's a lot of gumballs right there. We can have fun. That's up. Okay, um, the Rolling Stones. The meaning of life. Right here is a batting's cages. Uh, I actually might one day play for the Yankees because they said that they need to even out the playing field to their competitors. They need to give the Mets a shot at winning. And I'm a Mets fan and even I'm saying that. But the Yankees basically said that they need to even out the playing field so it's more fair to all the other players. So the Yankees have said that in order to do that, they might accept me into their little family. The fact that I just referred to a baseball team as a family shows how little I know about any sport. Oh, good make contact. So right now we are out shopping. Ducks in the window. This one has a really stupid name. So right now we are out shopping and I got these bad boys. And with this and the mask, I kind of look like I'm incognito. I promise to never do this again. Jalapeno pizza. So that is the end of day five. Thank you. I'm sorry. I, I shouldn't be ruining sunglasses for the rest of you. I know they, they're not a good fit on me. Nothing that's cool is a good fit on me. So I can't continue to wear shades. And I apologize for thinking that I'm somebody who's supposed to do that. Um, but thank you all so much for watching day five. I really hope you're all loving these Cape Cod videos as much as I'm loving filming them and as much as I'm loving this vacation. I love you all so very much and I'll see you in a few seconds for day six. Thanks for watching. Good night, guys. So it is day six and right now I'm on a hike and I always love hikes. What I love doing, no matter how old I get, I love looking for those really big sticks in the woods and finding one and using it as my staff or, or something I walk with. No matter how old I get, 
I know that's like kind of immature, but I can't help myself. I cannot resist finding the really big sticks to walk with. So I'm gonna go look for them now and I'll let you know if I find anything. I haven't found any so far, but this is the most important task one could ever do in their lifetime. So we will not give up. We will find our walking stick. This one's decent. I mean, this one's okay. I, I'm gonna try and find something a little bit better, but this will be what I use until I find that thing. For now, this will be my stick, but we're gonna try and find other things so we could ditch this stupid one. It's like a maze. What do we have here? I'm not sure what this is, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna like break down and I'm gonna fall into that gooey thing. Oh God, this is a beautiful field. Mother Nature at its finest. This trail really brings back memories because when I was at sleepaway camp, which as I said in part one, got canceled this year because of the plague, uh, every morning I used to take my little unathletic body and force myself to get through a hike. And it was always right in the morning. That's the only time of day where we really had athletics and that was a real option. Um, so I had like just eaten breakfast. I was always stuffed, but I would like force myself to do it because all my friends uh, encouraged me to join them for the hike. And then after that, I would always go off to play practice, assuming I had it that day. Because I always did the camp show. This past year, the show was, the last year I was there, the show was Shrek and I played the donkey. And a lot of people said that casting choice made sense, not because I'm funny or anything, but because I'm skinny and annoying and, and hairy and cringy and all that other stuff I don't need to tell you guys about because you guys watch my videos and already know. Uh, but this trail, even though it's a little bit different than my hiking trail from camp, it definitely does bring back memories to those simpler times and makes me think back to all those mornings I spent forcing myself to get through a hike. A hike, by the way, that any semi-athletic person would not have had an issue with, but that's not me. I don't know if anybody else ever watched those old Ryan Higa dude versus wild videos, but if so, this kind of reminds me of that setting from those videos. And thus, we have arrived at our final destination. Isn't this just a beautiful sight? Oh wow, it's cold. I'm not even joking, it's actually really cold. I wanna go in a little bit for the video and for you guys, but that is really cold, I'm not gonna lie. Still not acceptable. Okay, fine. Fish and chips. Welcome back to Pirates Cove Mini Golf. For those of you who have never been here, at Pirates Cove they have two courses of mini golf that you can choose from. In the last video we did the first course, and now in this video we will be doing course two, 
I don't think I've ever done Chorus 2 before. I might have, because I've definitely been here many times, but I don't specifically remember anything about Chorus 2. Uh, but I am very much excited to do it. That kind of just scared me. They sprayed water out of that. I really hope I got that on video. If I didn't, then I will resent myself for the rest of my life. But I'm excited for course two, so let's go come in last place again. I feel like I could probably pull off that haircut with the beads and everything. I'm like pretty sure that would look good on me. All right, let's go walk the plank that's actually a bridge. This hole takes place in a tunnel. All right, back in the tunnel. This hole takes place on a mountain, and from it you can see pretty much all of Pirate's Cove, which is really cool. It's a statue of a shark. I've always quite liked statues of sharks. I've never seen them up until now, but I'm sure I would have liked them if I saw them before. So long once again, Pirate's Cove. And also once again, you will be missed. So tonight, we unfortunately did not get ice cream. We got ice cream on pie, so. 10 times more healthy, no more working out for me. Not that I really ever did in the first place, but now I definitely don't have to do it. <laughs> so we just got back from the game and there is something I'm surprised by and something I'm not surprised by. I'm not surprised that yet again, in all seriousness, I came in dead last place. I'm not even joking. I'm not exaggerating how bad I am for comedic effect. I came in dead last place. What I'm surprised about though is that in the last game, as I said uh, in the previous video, I only uh, came in last by four points. If I had just gotten four less points, I would have been tied for second to last, which would be an all-time high for me. Uh, so I thought I was at least getting better. And this time, I got destroyed. The number of more times I had to hit the golf ball in comparison to the person who came in second to last was in double digits because I got... In all honesty, mostly holes in threes and fours. I got two every here and there, but it was mostly three and four. So I thought I was getting better. I thought that I was starting to become somewhere close to semi-decent, but nope. No, I'm not. That's, that's too big an accomplishment for me to ever achieve. But thank you all so much for watching anyways. Unfortunately, the next part of this series will be the final part because it will be uh, all of Friday and then we're going in early Saturday morning. So it's really only going to be a day and a half. And I'm really sad because I, I had a great time this vacation as I'm sure is very clear by the video. But it was a great vacation and I'm so, so happy I'm getting to share it with all of you. So thank you all so much for watching. I love you all so much and I will see you on Saturday night for the fourth and final part. Bye. I have nowhere to sleep for the night. She took my bed. You little rascal.
Hey guys, thank you all so much for watching part 3 of our Cape Cod adventure. To see the previous skit, then watch I challenge you to a duel and the behind the scenes for that, the epic duel behind the scenes. And to see the previous vlog, then watch 7 years. And to see part 1, then watch Cape Cod adventure part 1 house tour. And part 2, mini golf and the beach Cape Cod adventure part 2. All of the links for these videos will be in the description below. So thank you all so much for watching. I love you all so very much and I'll see you all in a few days for part 4. Bye! So the final part to our Cape Cod adventure will be out Saturday night, and it will be as glorious as this setting. And yes, I know, that was very poetic.